kids want to know. Have you ever taken a bath or played in a swimming pool, lake, or ocean? Maybe you've noticed that there are some things that make really good bath or pool toys, and other things, well, not so much. The term buoyancy refers to how well something floats or sinks. If something is able to float, we would say that it's buoyant. So, what makes something float or sink? Generally, we can determine if something can float by feeling its weight. Usually, if something is light, it floats or is positively buoyant. If it's heavy, then it sinks or is negatively buoyant. This is an easy enough explanation for us to accept, right? But the idea becomes shaky when we consider why something really, really heavy, like a cruise ship, is able to float. To understand this, we need to understand the concept of density. Density is the amount of stuff or mass something has inside of it, compared to its volume or size. For example, if we look at this bucket full of sand, we would say that it's more dense than this identical empty bucket, because the bucket full of sand has more stuff. It's got more mass. Another example is this bowling ball. It has more mass than a basketball because a basketball is full of air, but a bowling ball is full of stuff. So even though the bowling ball is smaller, it's more dense than the basketball. So what does this have to do with buoyancy? The next concept we need to tackle is called Archimedes' principle. Archimedes was a mathematician and philosopher who lived in ancient Greece. He had been stumped on a problem he was trying to figure out for the king, so he decided to take a bath. When he was sitting in the bath, he noticed that the water level rose when he went into the bath. Let's pretend that this block is Archimedes. See how the water level goes up when the block goes into the water? This means that in order to make space for his body in the bath, the water had to get pushed around in the bath, making the water level rise. The story goes that he was so excited by this discovery that he jumped out of the bath and ran naked down the street to his laboratory shouting, Eureka! Which means, I've got it! Basically, what Archimedes' principle helps us to understand is that if an object is heavier than the amount of water that it's displaced, or is something very dense, the object will sink, like the bowling ball. And if the object is lighter than the amount of water it is displaced, or something not very dense, the object will float like the basketball. So, back to our cruise ship problem. Even though a cruise ship is very heavy, it's also very, very large. Most of the ship is also hollow, so it's not as dense as you might think. Because of this, just like the basketball, the ship is actually lighter than the water it's displaced, causing it to float. Did you know? Submarines dive by allowing water to fill part of the submarines, called ballasts. The air gets vented out until the density of the sub is enough to make it sink. Ships also use ballasts for balance. Without them, they have a tendency to tip in windy weather. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.